Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'll uh, pull this down a little bit. Jeez, things really loud. <clears throat> I'm going to read from James 4. Um, me and Tommy and uh, DeVille did a uh, little Bible study one Sunday morning on this. Um, it's probably one of my favorite verses. And it just, uh, on an everyday basis, kind of just reminds me to uh, what to focus on. But it says, <clears throat> sorry, submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. I just want to say that because it's a new year. You know, we got to remember the world is nothing more than a carnival for our eyes. It's full of temptation and sin. And if we take our minds or our focus off Jesus Christ, then it's very easy to fall into the temptations of the world and lose our salvation. You know, I repeat this verse to myself probably without a doubt, at least 10 times a day. Because it is very... It goes from too loud to too quiet. But, uh... <laughs> um... Yeah, for me personally, though, this verse says a lot to me. Because every day is temptation. The devil does something every single day to tempt you in some way or another whether it's our eyes or a situation we have with someone. You know, we always got to remember, be slow to speak, quick to listen. It's not usually always quick to listen to the person, but listen to God and what he has to say to you about that person and the situation. Remember, God gives us tests of little things. And if we can't succeed at the little things, there's no way he's going to give us anything bigger than we can handle. But if we can't succeed at the small things when we're tempted, then there's no way he's going to give us anything bigger to take. Life's a challenge. Life's a test. Satan's always going to tempt you. All right, yeah, see, there you go. But I just want to end with, just try to remember that verse. Resist the temptation, he will flee from you. God is greater than any problem we will deal with. Thank you for listening.